to do some studying tonight. Good morning, everybody. Just hanging out in the shop, lining my back, getting a nice gravity stretch. Gonna plan out the day, get some electrical stuff done, maybe some uh, light mounts. Gonna get another stretch in, bike ride, roll at the park. Back to the shop, work, eat, daily grind. Gonna be getting up at, uh, I started my day at 5.30 this morning. Poop, hot Epsom salt soak, poop. Now it's stretch time. Yummy. A little beef bone broth. Some pink salt. Warmed up. Cheers. My own mess mug. And I don't drink the beef. Uh, I don't drink the beef bone broth every single morning. I drink it when I feel like it. When I feel like my body needs some collagen. You know? Needs a little, a little extra. little nourishment that's what it is all right so uh yeah it's gone all weekend had a nice chill relaxed time uh bart came down to uh lane's parents and uh me and bart had a really cool sunday afternoon uh saturday we went to costco and uh went through there picking to see what we could get in bulk that's fuel and not bullshit and like any other store it wasn't much but I did get a bunch of nuts and some other shit, but that was fun, though. I, I did enjoy that. Uh, you want to see chaos and people in a rush and learn patience, go to Costco. Just pick a corner and sit there and just watch all these people. It's, it's, it's hypnotizing. But, uh, yeah, me and Bart went uh, rolling at the local bicycle park by Trip and Sonny's house. And uh, it was awesome. Beautiful scenery, great atmosphere. Still get exercise. Yeah. All right, Bart's going to try the electric board. I'm skating a Winkowski. Hell yeah. Took our pipes, took our tobacco, took our boards, and just cruised, found a spot, chilled, enjoyed it. Yeah, this place is awesome. I'll definitely come back over here next time. Man. My legs feel so much better today than they did yesterday. Got a little healing time. I don't remember you mentioning anything about your legs bothering you yesterday. No, this is muscle sore. I don't know if I can ask muscles all the way down to my ankles, and my legs are just tight constantly. From exercise. It'll get to the point to where just doesn't hurt anymore. 
like the muscles. I gotta pee. This is me taking a piss in the woods. Look at that bird, he's got something. We're gone for a couple hours. Watched a couple guys do wheelies over the bridge. But uh, that was really nice over the weekend. Tried, tried to stay off my feet as much as possible and just let my leg muscles rest and, and my joints just recover. And, and I, I feel that I, I did that over the weekend. I think I got, got that accomplished. Cooked for everybody, made some bomb ass meals and played with the boys. Uh, got uh, Logan and Grayson both on the electric board and all three of us went skating and they loved it. They absolutely loved it. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Everybody stay on, okay? Right, we're gonna go back to see them. I'm gonna yell at them all. Woo! 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 We got future skaters coming in the family. I'm gonna take my mini board over there next time and let them play on that. I'll let them play on a mini board and let them play on a uh, bigger board. I'm about to set up a uh, uh, a 10 989 right around there. Old school Santa Cruz, not as coppice, SMA, classic skate shop. Uh, he hooked me up with that deck and I still have it. And I got another one, but uh, I'm gonna set that up and that's gonna be like the board that me and the boys play on. and. Uh, uh, you know, I'm gonna roll it too, of course. I'm gonna skate it and do tricks and whatever I can on it and have fun. But I'm building it for me and the boys to just play on. Like, this is gonna be the board when Uncle Jason comes over. They they got this one to play on. Yeah, so I uh, got back yesterday, had a lot of catching up to do around the house and running errands and all that. Took all day, uh, exhausted myself. Uh, but today I'm starting slow. Got up at 5.30, relaxed, caught up on some videos, watched some uh, some YouTube videos from over the weekend, watched some skate videos on YouTube from over the weekend, stretched, uh, got all my stuff out in the shop, preparing for today, and the list I need to make of things to do day by day. And uh, we got a uh, tobacco order in while I was gone from tobaccopipes.com. And... Everybody always asks me, you know, what can you recommend? What can you recommend? And it's like, I can recommend so much. It's really, the truth is, it's, you just got to try it all. And, and I've, I've, I've preached this many times. Get on YouTube, start out, get in the community, find some friends, see who's got what. Send each other your sample of what you got and what he likes or what she wants and what she likes. Uh, trade each other, you know, that's the best way to sample uh, tobacco without, you know, costing yourself an arm and a leg. That's that's what we did. You know, I know what I like and, uh, you know, tobacco changes every year, it, you know. So I've got a bunch of stuff that I've liked over the years and I've got the newer stuff and I'm probably going to open one tin of each throughout this year. I'll jar it. I'm going to smoke it and uh, the others I'm going to save and sell her. But I thought I'd share with you guys what we ordered. Dad already got his uh, tins out of here, which you can just guess what he got. But I'm going to show you what I got. And uh, once again, thank you, TobaccoPipes.com. Uh, ordered this on Friday, and it was here on Saturday. So They are in Florida, but still, that's pretty fucking quick. 
and I wasn't even here. Got a fresh new tin of Orlet Golden Slice, and I actually opened it last night. Oh man, it just looks like it's gonna be great. Now, it smells lighter than what I'm re referring to in my memory bank. When I used to always open a, a tin of, I used to smoke Orlick Golden Slice a lot. I mean, I'd go 10 to 10 to 10. And uh, I've cracked so many tins of Orlick and I've smelled that fresh aroma. And uh, this one's lagging a little bit. It, you know, the newer, the newer blend here, you know, no date on it, but... This is this is new, latest and greatest. It smells lighter, like a diet Orlick to me from my smelling reference bank, uh, and that's what I thought last night. And I just smelled it again, and yeah. Now I have some old school Orlick, and I might just crack a tin of that open. We'll go uh, six, seven years age versus today smell and taste. Maybe that'd be a good, be a good uh, challenge. Bengal slices. Got more of these to. Just got these to age. Got a little. And I got some capstan. Used to buy this a lot. So I got some uh, latest and greatest. One to smoke, one to cellar, two to cellar. One to smoke, one to smoke. One to cellar. And I left the other one in the house. Cellary. I got a new Escudo. I got a new Rainier. Oh, yeah. Got a new Dunhill. Standard. I got another new Dunhill. Early morning. I'm going to compare it to... Uh, some stuff I've had aging down the road. Navy Rolls by uh, Dunhill. Cellar. Magnum Opus, Hearth and Home for the cellar. Presbyterian, cellar. And then I haven't had this one, Part of Gas. This is, uh, Blends the best from the world of pipe tobacco. There is there is the nuttiness from the burley, the sweetness from the black cavendish, and the smoky notes from the Latakia. This is truly a hybrid of the aromatic and English world. So basically, this is a crossover from arrow to English, arrow English, and uh, sounds good. So I'm gonna see uh, if the description meets up to the uh, sniff note and taste bud flavor. I'll crack this thing open. Smells pretty good. It's, it's sweeter, more, it's more sweet than uh, smoky, for sure, due to the casings, sugar casings. Let me uh, get from underneath the plastic here. Yeah, this thing's, uh, I'll give that a try. And... So yeah, I'm gonna be cellaring some of these and I'm gonna be smoking one of each. And uh, also I'm gonna be uh, sharing some of this at Civil War reenactment with some fellow pipe smoking reenacting friends. I think these would be some great blends to uh, start people out on, get them in the hobby for the new ones that come. Every year at reenactment, we get new pipe smokers. So uh, I believe we're getting some cobs from Missouri Meerschaum to uh, pass out to anybody that's uh, interested in learning about pipe smoking at uh, the Alusty reenactment coming up on February 15th, I believe. 15th, 16th, 16th and 17th is the, uh, is the reenactment, but I'll be there on the 15th through the 18th. I stay an extra day and enjoy the peacefulness and quiet of the pine forest and roam the earth. So, the decision is, what are we gonna put in this big brown beefy poker today? 
and uh, enjoy. Now the uh, that's all getting cellared, 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 cellared. One of these is take this one, cellared, cellar. That's all cellared. And those are getting cellared. Could always try this Rainier's. Look, look at that. A Virginia toasted burley choco nut flavor. Sounds like a crossover. Oh, sticky icky. Look at that. <sighs> Definitely got a uh, light toasted coconut smell. Off. You gotta go, babe? Gotta go. Okay. Yeah. You know, I'm just gonna try it. It's, it's, it smells like something that I'm not really gonna care for, but then at the same time, it's it kind of sneaks up on you afterwards, and it's like, oh, that, that actually smells pretty good, so... Uh, I wonder if that's going to be the case during the flavor, so I'm going to try it, and, yep, yeah. and if you, uh, missed out on the, uh, the eBay link, if it didn't work, it works now. eBay, the first time we, we did our launch, it, uh, it took about, I don't know, six, seven hours for them to review and let our link be live to the public. So this time, we didn't use the word tobacco. Nothing tobacco, nothing smoke, no nothing. And it took 22 hours for them to review before they put it up. So now that we know, me and Elaine are just going to put it up 24 hours before we tell anybody, and then we'll make sure that we can search it, and then we'll tell you that it's live because we just got bombarded with emails of, it's not working, it's not working, and it's like, yeah, it's there. It's just eBay hiding it from everybody, so... Uh, we got a couple of these left on eBay. I'm uh, dropping a few off today here in a little bit on our bike ride to the skate park. And uh, daily duty's going. All right, so yeah, I'm going to pack this up. Looks like a ribbon to rip cut. All right, I'm going to go uh, seven eighths full. Got a shit ton of new mason jars, so jar all this up. Got some hemp here. I'm not trying to go healthy and not suck as much butane anymore. I'll tell you what, the flavor is uh, way better than the smell. I'm not, I'm not tasting what I smelled. I'm tasting deliciousness. Uh, sweet, creamy, smoky, nutty. Right off the get-go.
with a vapor. A slight vapor, yeah. I'm digging it. Fucking digging it already. Good shit, TobaccoPipes.com. Thank you very much. Premium pipe tobacco. Blend 25. Virginia toasted burley choco nut flavor. 50 grams. Made in the EU. The premium quality of Rainier. State of California to cause cancer and birth defects or other reproductive harm. Good thing I live in Florida. I'm going to roll around and stretch my waist and my hips and my, my joints. Uh, today, I'm choosing a uh, 875 by 32.25 with a 14.25 wheelbase. And it's a uh, Primewood LA reissue of uh, Jeff Hartzell's World Industry. And I got uh, Indy Stage 3s on it. So this is a cruiser board that I've had set up for a year, actually a year, and uh, you know, I'll do my own custom grip. Let's just drive in to Florida anytime. So I took the cruiser wheels off and I put some, uh, I put some Spitfire Formula 4 101A hard green wheels. So uh, this is what I'm gonna roll at the park today. I'm uh, assuming it's going to haul ass and slide and grind the shit out of everything. So, might have to loosen these trucks up a little bit. Tell you what, I'm digging it. I'm digging that. Way to go, Rainier. I feel like the flavor of this would go well universally with anything. Uh, if you're comparing it with uh, liquid or food, uh, beer, wine, whiskey, steak, fish, chicken, uh, it's, it's phenomenal. And it's new. It's not even aged. So I'm going to get more of this. clean this mess up. All right, baby. Got about a half a bowl left. Flavor still on point. Nice and, uh, I mean, it's just a fantastic blend. Just nutty and creamy and uh, smoky all at the same time. And if you like that, with a little vapor, mmm. <sighs> yeah, good. Take it. Yo! All right, so uh, I kind of want to put, I got some Indy 149s in the house sitting on the shelf, not doing anything. And these are actually uh, Ace 44s, which is a remake of the Indy Stage 3. And the 149s are just a little bit wider. This board's 875, and I feel like I could go a little bit wider. I think the, the 149s will just ride and fit better on here. Loose trucks save lives. <sighs> About uh, three quarters of the way down, vapor has decreased. Smooth, nutty, creamy, smoky, still there. Whew, 
That choco nut's still coming. I'm well, highly impressed by this tobacco. What did I tell you? I think this could be a blend for uh, anybody to start on. So for everybody that asks me about recommendations, at the moment I'm smoking this, and I can recommend Rainier's Blend 25 from today. My point of view, my taste buds, my smell, flavor palette, uh, I'm digging it. So before I load this video, I'm going to go back to TobaccoPipes.com and I'm going to order myself a few more tins of this, but I'll make sure that there are a few left for anybody else that wants to try it. On to the last piece of ash that I just sucked. It was flavorful. Good stuff. All right, I'm going to get on with some planning and electrical, waiting on some more parts, but I'm going to try to do as much as I can in here. And then... Uh, Go drop some orders off, hit that bicycle ride, skate park. All right, I got some measurements and these lights here. I'll show you how we're gonna put them up. What we're gonna do is this. You're gonna have your socket here. You're gonna save a lot of work and a lot of money. This is gonna mount up here like that. And then the light's gonna hang off that. It'll go right out here, it'll be balanced and pivoting on the top of this. Actually, it'll be like this on the long ways. So the light will hang like this. You'll see, but it'll be a light, light, light. So there'll be six lights going down the wall. Yeah, we'll have 40,000 lumens of LED light here. Simply plug it into the wall. Anytime there's a malfunction or a problem, oh, disconnect, swap it, easy peasy. No hard wiring, and no, it's just, we don't need to do all that. So that's what we're gonna be working on, making some uh, arms and brackets. Really can't test it until we actually wire everything, which we can't do right now, because we're still waiting on stuff, and yeah, so. Small things today to uh, just kind of fabricate and make up. We're going to mock up one today, and uh, if that's the way that we like it and the way that it works, then we'll continue to do them all like that. But instead of just saying, hey, that's what we're going to do, and then get all this material and parts, and then come, oh, no, nah, it's not going to be the best. But we've thought about it and thought about it, and this is uh, our, our way of how we want to do it. So, yeah, make a mock up and prepare for the rest of the stuff to get in. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, get a little Charlotte's Web in my body. Uh, most of you know I use uh, Florida Medical Cannabis for my arthritis and pain. And uh, it's today's new ibuprofen. This is the uh, sports medicine of today. There's no denying it. Uh, people that are hyped up in the old school propaganda just need to get that out of their head because most people that have anything negative to say have not experimented with themselves in the correct way or knew what they were doing. You know, I educated myself on cannabis from history to day one to today. And uh, these are the pipes that uh, we just got in that uh, we're gonna offer at Bike Week with our Briar Pipes because there's a lot of cannabis users out there, especially the vets. 
So we wanted to have something for everybody. And I'm testing this one out. I modified it last night. It normally has a, a little rubber plug that goes in here with a small hole so you can choke it down. And I took a, a broken corn cob tenon, uh, cut it completely off, chamfered it. Let me just show you. So I cut, I cut the tenon off, I chamfered it. You know, there's a little plug that goes in here. And uh, you know, this, gla this is a glass tube in here. This pops right out, you can clean it real easy. Nice, cool, dry smoke. Doesn't uh, make you cough or throat burn, none of that shit. And it's a tight seal. And uh, yeah, I got a little bit of Charlotte's Web. I got a half, half a bowl left in there. So yeah, it's a, it's a nice little pipe to uh, you know deliver your goods as fast as you can to your blood system. I mean, I feel the, the, the fastest way is yeah, so cheers. Anybody out there in pain? Grandpa Bones, cheers. And I saw your message and I'm gonna I'm gonna go through and we'll, we'll read some messages and do some shout outs and have fun and uh, I won't request you subscribing to send me any money to do that. I'm just gonna do it for the fun of it. It's, it smokes really nice, but yeah, uh, my my modification and uh, it works very well. So I put the uh, stamp of approval on it, and uh, definitely worth what we're going to be selling them for. So <clears throat> all right, let's go stretch and start this bicycle ride and. Uh, yeah, got light work to do around here today. Got most of it done yesterday, so let's do it. This is uh, what I just smoked. I want you to try it. Tell me what you think. Smell it, and then when you taste it, you're gonna you're gonna be blown away. It smells like something that's gonna kind of give you a tongue bite or mouth burn. It does not do that. I already ordered more, by the way. I got uh, three quarters way to the bowl and it was still just maintaining excellence. So I went online and ordered another dozen. And because I think that you're gonna like it too, and then uh, if you do, then six tens will be for you. Put these 149s on here. The best. No matter how much I stretch, I'm still stretching. Like I can feel everything just stretching constantly. I have gotten about, 
I'd say five to 10 degrees more in my right knee in the last week, just by stretching, getting it. I got more to go. My left one, I got some, I got about 15 degrees left to go on it. And about 30 on my right. And that's still not 100%, that's 97%. We're almost there. We're getting there quicker now. But I'm pretty much uh, done with today's responsibilities. Uh, so I'm going to go get a good workout. Come back, eat, rest, work in the shop. I got some uh, refined engineering plans and fabrication I'm going to do when I get back. Chill. And then, uh, prepare for dinner, bathe, do it all over again. Starting at 5.30 a.m. What time do you get up? What time did I get up? 5.30 a.m. Wake up with some nice soft jazz. It's been uh, one of the best ways to wake up that I've enjoyed. Not having a panic attack as soon as my eyes open. Uh, got the, uh, the truck swapped. Took those aces off and put some proper indies on. The main reason why I have an independent truck company tattoo on my leg. Because they're the best. Ride the best, fuck the rest. I gave them a shot. We're going to ride up to a uh, four-wheel skate shop and uh, see if we can do some bargaining. Uh, I got a few things to... Uh, Maybe trade and, and uh, barter with. I, I'm looking to get uh, at least two more pairs of trucks. I want to get another set of 159s and another set of 169s for some future builds. And uh, I'm going to build that Not As Kitten board. So I need some 159s. And... Uh, Probably another set of bearings, maybe another set of wheels. I like getting a set of cruiser wheels, different hardness. I've got uh, 78As, I got 80As, I got 85As, I got 87As, I don't have 92s, I don't have 95s, and I don't have 97s. I got 99s, 100s, 101s. So, some of the older 90s urethane was. 90, 92 to uh, 97, actually in the 80s, late 80s and 90s. So I want to explore some of those urethanes and see how it triggers memories from riding them back in the day versus today. And you know, I like to add, you know, absolutely everything that I can as far as what I skated as a kid to. Uh, just bring back those memories and motivation and have fun to uh, keep going and stretching and, and feeling great, you know, I feel great today. And uh, I'm looking forward to feeling incredible, which uh, is right in front of me. It's coming up. I see it. On all levels and aspects, I see it. Good knee crack there. And I just kind of make these stretches up on how my body feels. You know, where's the tightness? And, you know, my abs and my, my ribs and my sides are always tight from you know, swinging my body back and forth, left or right. 
twisting and turning, you know, getting that, uh, that fast response, reaction time. Yeah, you know, it's, it's important to stretch that too. I mean, you gotta feel your body and stretch everything. And it's a lot easier to feel your body and uh, look for the signs and clues that it tells you when you're not on sugar. And uh, it's pretty clear. There's no denying it. It's just willpower. It's just willpower. And you gotta get it. Willpower on anything. You know? Willpower on anything. Set small goals. Can I not do one thing for one day? Start with one day, 24 hours. Can I eliminate something that I do on the daily that's habitual and not fueling my body that I'm intaking? What can I remove for 24 hours and deal with it? Can I, can I do that and then can I do it for 48? Can, can I go the next day, the next day? That's how you start. That's how you start growing and building willpower. Challenge yourself. Nobody even has to know. Just fucking do it. And if you uh, can't do it, you're just letting yourself down. You're just letting yourself know that I, I'm lazy and I, I'm letting this bacteria in my gut control my mind to uh, just make my life go by faster, quicker. feeling pretty warm especially with that sun on my back it feels great today's like the first day it's felt like the uh, spring even smelling the air it smells like the spring early on Whew. Ooh, got some crackage going on doesn't hurt just cracking Feel pretty good. Oh, yeah. All right. I'll hook my windbreaker up and get the four wheel skate shop. It's good barter. Standard stocker 159s. I like the weight and the height. 55 mil tall. Going uh, on the nice kitty board. Oh yeah. Always gotta represent. Good shit. I like, I like the OJ wheels too. Do you think skating those at all? No, that's what's coming in on Try the OJ light wide. I've been skating those. Do you want one of these or no? Yeah, I'll take um, do a green, maybe a yellow, I like yellow, green and yellow, that's cool. Yeah, I'm thinking about this Winkowski. Oh, I entered. 
All right, well, when your next uh, NHS order comes in, I'll probably get another pair of 159s, maybe those red ones. But here's what I'm going home with today. 159 stockers, hardware, hardware, bushings, phones, firing, surprisers, sticker pack. <laughs> sticker pack. Those are really hard to be expensive. I have the Yeah. yeah. All right, let's hit the park first, then we'll hit the post office. Got plenty of time. Keep your shit safe. here taking advantage of it feel pretty good legs are getting sore but I'm just going slow and uh, really enjoying this war today the uh, new wheels and the Indy 149s Step off and push.
old age. Food time. Need fuel. I need some uh, coconut kale curry and egg soup that I made last night. Pretty damn good. Man, incredible uh, stretch, pedal, push, pump. Got it. And uh, go refuel with a little custom soup. Custom fuel soup. And I like to put a little sriracha on it. The curry, spicy. I like turning up a notch. Mmm. So good. Uh, oh, yeah, it started already. That's uh, egg, kale, cilantro. Garbanzo bean, garlic, shallot, and cilantro. Mm. Top notch. Bone ape tit. I'm gonna add a little hummus. This lunch, some flax, flax seed crackers, lacquers. Oh, yeah, got that spice, got the creamy coolness here. Mmm, so good. Bike week preparations. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah I could do a little some cooler. Pain in the ass. Yeah. Bike week's coming up quick. March seventh, I believe. Come see us. Mm. Yeah, I'm feeling it now. Woo, but it feels good. My legs, my leg muscles are just, whew, I can feel all of them. Just uh, pulsating and I just stretched a little bit more. I'm gonna, uh, take uh, my today's ibuprofen and this is a little charlotte's web mixed with jack hair little leftovers Oh, I can feel uh, I can feel my knees getting relief right now. And it's not uh, it's a different kind of relief today. It's almost like I get uh, more more natural feeling in my joints uh, when I use cannabis. When I don't, it just feels uh, stiff and crunchy. Just. Uh, uncomfortable <sighs> if 
for my mind, I feel that it helps me make better decisions, faster decisions, quicker, rational, undeniable decisions. <laughs> Cruise on this uh, resurrected nine garage that I reshaped. Go get Grandpa. What are you doing? Uh oh. Where'd you get that at? Can't look at the front. Oh my god. He said it's something I've never had. <laughs> it oh. looks like something I've had. <laughs> you have many of them, but. It's not, I don't have this one. You want me to open it? Yeah. Now, is this, you say you got this for me for Valentine's? Or this is your Valentine's gift. Five year anniversary is no. coming up, too. Well, it's okay, it's a combo. Oh. <gasps> Holy shit, where'd you get that? <laughs> Where'd you get that? It's the same one. Oh my God. Babe, that's so awesome. 
The vision double kick. Yeah, I totally want to put that together. Oh my god. And it's red for Valentine's Day. That's so awesome. Babe. Oh, if, if the people only knew the story behind that, huh? Thank you, babe. That's a true vision double kick. Double vision. Length 32 and a quarter. Width 9 and a half. Kick 6 and a half. Wheelbase 14 and a half. Concave V6. I got it from uh, House of Pawn. You did? Mm -hmm. Oh, man. House of Pawn. Thank you, Floyd. Thank you, babe. I love you very much. Yeah, I'm totally skating this shit. Man, that's a... You got me. I never... I would have never imagined... You uh, getting that for me? Oh yeah, this weekend's gonna be great. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? This thing's so sick. The comeback board. Holy shit, babe! How come I'm getting all these presents? Because I kind of like you. Oh. Now, this is more what's going to wait, but. What the? Who, who threw that on there? The company. You got yeah. me something from Spot? So, this is for our anniversary. Okay. Which isn't till two weeks away. I know, but I can't wait anymore. Okay. Look at that deck. <laughs> oh, snap. I got us matching shoes. You did? No way. Oh, no way, babe. <laughs> Those are pimpalicious. I don't want to rock them so bad. I'm They're like, so oh. light, too. Oh, babe, I love them. Aren't they dope? Yeah, when I start doing flip tricks again, I got... Uh, Look, I got my own little pair, too. I got ankle protection. Oh, man. I got matching shoes. Hey, they're awesome. Oh, man. Oh, man, oh, man. <laughs> oh, shit, I just want to wear them now. They're light. Yeah, they are. They're way lighter than dunks are, typically. We're from Florida. We represent camo 24-7 here I in this even, household. I haven't even looked at them. I just ordered them. Oh, man. Yeah, so, your fresh check. You know, wear some fresh kids. Yeah. Maybe I should use some of that camo grip tape on here to match my camo shoes. There you go. Make it a memorable, commemorative... Uh... You know, skate these two together for... Our Valentine anniversary. Thanks, Floyd, for all the stickers. I'm gonna try a white shoe string in there. Just walking around, one shoe on. Yeah, so. Elaine remembered me telling her a story. I got this at, uh, at House of Ponds on a trip a while ago, last year sometime, from my collection because I had this double kick when I was a kid. It was the true size to size, split in half. This was the first one. And I've been wanting to skate it, been staring at it, and it's like, ah, well, I really want it for the collection. I was telling Elaine about it, and she contacted Floyd, and Hook me up. Got a red one for Valentine's Day. I'm definitely shredding this thing. Do my welcome backboard. Got high tops to protect my ankles. Got tons of cushions. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Look at that. My ankles down here. My bones. Nice thick padding. Thank you, babe. Welcome. Looking good. Yeah. All right, this has got to go back in the collection. Got some 
good stuff going on here coming up for uh ooh the holiday. All you need is love. Oh, okay. Alright, babe, what you got? I've been to Delhi lots, but Dan's the new Alright, so we got a new eBay listing for uh, our Valentine's Day special and how we're how we're doing it, what me and Elaine came up with. Is well, let's see. Our website has a different uh, sale than the eBay store does. So you'll need to go to both to check it out. Sign up for the newsletter and then you'll get the details for eBay and yeah. the website. Correct. Yeah, I'll put the links in the newsletter so you'll get both. You could just click it from there. And, um, you know, any other questions, you can always email me at daggerpipes at gmail.com. But for the most part, I mean, everything's a really good deal. Yeah, this is like one of the best deals we've done yet. But the, the best part of it is everything that's um, purchased over Valentine's, we're going to be doing a couple's giveaway. And it doesn't necessarily have to be couple like, you know. It could you be father, wife, son, but yeah, brother, father, brother. son, your whatever. brother, your bro, like whatever. But the giveaway is going to include two pipes. Uh, one's going to be on eBay and one's going to be on, on the website. So if you buy something from the website and then you go to the eBay and you buy that special, then you're entered in twice. You can win both of them. You can win both of them. Yeah, you, you get double your chances to win. But, mm -hmm. So you have a whole week. So well, we're starting tonight, but eBay, we figured out their shenanigans and what we post on eBay, we think is instant, it takes 24 hours to post. And we scheduled the website to do the same, so everything should launch at the same, the website and eBay. Yeah, so if you just brush across our website or eBay and you just find this without knowing any of this, well, look at you. You're, yeah. you're entered into the giveaway. And you don't even know it, but there's instructions on the uh, description in eBay telling you. To... Yeah, and then the newsletter will definitely have more instructions, which I'm working on, and we'll schedule that to launch first thing in the morning. Woo! Oh, yeah. So the inspiration of the double vision you know, from Elaine's lovely gift, Happy Valentine's Day, has uh, inspired us to do a, a double giveaway. Daggerpipes.com purchases from uh, now till February 15th, 2019. Your invoice number will be entered into a random number generator and you could win all that. Sandblasted double barrel, rusticated bent billiard, pipe roll, ladder leash, pipe stand, pipe cleaners, tamper, patch and stickers. And eBay, everybody that purchases our uh, special on eBay from now till the 15th, their invoice number will be entered into the same giveaway, random number generator, and one of those people from eBay will win that. Now the split is, uh, I got a little custom uh, vintage tobacco tin that, you know, kind of put my own stuff on. And I got a little something something inside, and I've got an old vintage Pal Peralta G-Bones wheel. And you can use this as a pipe stand displays uh, you, you can play the game where you, you get that little nail on the wall and you get it on there uh, or you can just uh, make a chain roller out of it for your motorcycle that's what I actually did with these so whoever the winners are from eBay and the website random number generator we're gonna do another random number generator whoever wins that uh, that's going to whichever household so yeah happy valentine's day all you need is love we're gonna share some from us to you and from you to somebody else
just beat the devil out of him. <laughs>